uh, enjoyed this real quick install video. Uh, out of the difficulty, I give this one nut out of four nuts. So anyone can do this. Take your time. If you any questions, let me know. All right, guys, I'm upgrading my speakers in the new 2015 F-150 that I just got. And if you have the Sony system, this is what the speakers look like. I actually changed this speaker out on the 2020 I had, and it did make a big difference. This is what you'll need. You'll need a T-15. And uh, since I got this out, I'm going to go ahead and clean all this up, too. All right, guys, I got to say, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by the speaker that came with the Sony system. You actually did get premium sound. Let's compare this to the 2020 center speaker I took out. <laughs> Look at this trash. Oh my goodness. This came out of my 2020 XLT 302. And uh, yeah. But what you got with the, with the uh, Sony system was a, a big improvement over factory. And I suspect the B&O system now that's going out is probably gonna be the same thing. But compare this, this speaker to the one I'm putting in, this kicker. And the, the Sony is actually almost the same, maybe a little beefier. Well, I just wanna see the, See if there's any sound difference, but uh, yeah, that's between the two. Going, going to this from this, and again, a big improvement from what I had in my 2020. This is trash. This these paper speakers are trash. Anyway, all right, guys, I did have to break off one of these little tabs on the other side to get it in, but. She is ready to go. And it's a little bit cleaner than the factory one that I took out from the Sony system. So it was worth the upgrade. Now we'll get on this dust and get all this cleaned up. Looking for a good detailing spray. I like this Chemical Guys Quick Detailer. It's got a nice scent and it does a really good job. I'll show y'all. Got a nice scent too. Check it out guys, I'll put the link below. You're gonna need a seven millimeter to get these bolts out of the door. You have two down here. Extension would help too. You got one right here, one right here. You can use your speaker's magnet to hold your bolts. That's what they look like. Like I said, you can put it on your speaker. This thing doesn't even have a magnet. How crappy is that? I said it'd be good to go ahead and invest in one of these kits. Uh, you will use this more than you think. I'll put the link below. Got a little panel right here. You got to pop out with those pry tools come in handy. Pop that out. It reveals these bolts right here. There's two clips. Here's your pry tool for this one. There's a spot right here towards the side of the door where you can stick your pry tool pry and then work towards the left and you'll see there's a little tab so it'll be a pivot you kind of pivot it out and pull it out six bolts and then two down here when you get all the screws out everything is held in by clips so you're going to start from this bottom corner and start working it around and eventually pull the panel off the door. Once you get the panel off, you'll have two connections here to disconnect. You have a door latch handle to disconnect. I like clean installs and I like easy installs. 
Guys, get the kits that I got listed below. It will make this a breeze. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this to the factory speaker connection that goes into this factory speaker. And then I will simply just connect this to my new speaker. Be pretty easy. I've been using Dynamat for years and I highly recommend it for any speaker install. And uh, I've already got this in. I'm gonna probably add some more pieces throughout the door. Uh, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's very moldable and um, it's great stuff. Really knocks down on vibrations, unwanted sounds. Highly recommend it. With the kit that I have listed in the description, this is what you'll do for the six and a halves. I'm using the factory bolts and I'm gonna bolt this down and then I'm gonna bolt the speaker to this bracket and then we'll be good to go. So that's what that looks like. Well, I got it wired up and installed. It sounds really good, guys, really good. The front doors are gonna be the same as the back door, with the exception of once you take this panel off, it just snaps off, there's one bolt here. So you actually have seven bolts on the front doors, six bolts in the back doors. Pretty straightforward. Here's the six by nines in the front. I actually was having some rattles with this metal piece here. Took care of that before I put the panel on. These six by nines definitely push harder than this six and a half. So ready to get it buttoned up. Enjoy my labor. All right, guys, well, I'm done with the speaker upgrade. I still have to do the subwoofer. I'm gonna do the subwoofer later and I'm gonna add an amp to the subwoofer. Right now, the Sony system amps all the doors and the sub. I'm gonna add a new sub and a separate amp for the sub. The speaker upgrade makes a big difference sound-wise. You can definitely tell. It was good sound uh, already, but this is even better. Uh, there's more depth, there's more balance. Uh, it's more well-rounded, what I like in a sound system. As always, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be glad to help, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.